Hi, my name is Rick Ross, and I'm the president of Adventist Health and Rideout. And I want to spend a few minutes today talking about COVID-19 virus and what we are doing here in the Yuba Sutter region to address the challenge that's currently facing our community. Our number one priority is the safety of our patients, our staff, and our community. We are looking at ways that we can align with um, the state and federal resources to make sure we have adequate personal protective equipment despite a nationwide shortage. It should be a priority for all of us to reduce the risk of spread and transmission of this disease. As a result here, we have had to adopt a no visitor policy. While we love the visitors to come to our hospital, right now it's important that people stay at home as much as possible to reduce the risk to themselves, to our patients, and to our staff. We have also made the decision to postpone and reschedule elective surgeries. We have closed a number of our clinics and have consolidated them in order to, uh, to avoid things that can be put off. And what that will allow us to do is to be more present for the urgent needs of the community and be able to focus our capacity on meeting an expected wave of, of needs as, as we expect the virus to continue and grow uh, in our state and our community. I want you to know that Adventist Health and Rideout remain open and ready to meet the needs of our community. Our emergency department, our surgery, our, our entire hospital is here to continue the service that it's provided to this community. I am very proud of the professional staff that we have who over the next few weeks will find themselves on the front line of a national challenge. I could think of no better group of people to be working with to accomplish this. In closing, I would like to say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your patience. And thank you for your trust in us. We honor that trust and want to do everything we can um, to continue to serve this community and meet the urgent and emergent needs that may arise in the next few weeks in front of us. You can also help us by following our local public health officer and the governor's um, council of remaining at home, sheltering in place, and reducing the risk of transmission through social distancing. Together, we can draw on the resilience of who we are as a community, and we will make a difference, and we will beat this together. Thank you.